I play Agatha. She is a precog, precognitive um, psychic, and in the film she was featured. And now it's 10 years later, it's 2065. She's grown up a little bit, but she's in complete seclusion as we start our series. She has decided that, you know, the society that took advantage of her, she wants to have no part of it. But her brothers have gotten bored, or for whatever reason they've gone back to the city, uh, Dash and Arthur, and she's very worried about them. And that may pull her back into the city, I don't know, but I have a feeling that she will get thrust back into society. And I, w I play uh, Lieutenant Will Blake. I am currently uh, Laura Vega, Detective Laura Vega's boss. Uh, played by Megan Good. Vega and Will Blake may have had something in the past. Um, may or may have not had something in the past. Um, and uh, now, a couple years later, you know, we happen to now be assigned to the same prison and I get a promotion around the time when she felt like the promotion might have been hers and that makes it for a little bit of a bittersweet, you know, relationship between us. She may not want to admit this, but them together are brilliant. They're almost a perfect cop together. It's an official sequel to the movie, and uh, Steven Spielberg is, you know, hands on executive producer. You know, he cast everyone. He's, you know, he's opened his archives of, you know, of not only props but wisdom when it came to the movie. You know, for us to actually not only base the, the DNA and the spirit of the movie, but also really uh, evolve the technology that he established in the movie to ten years later. Yeah, I mean, we have, um, it's really like going to a dance class, you know what I mean? Like you go to this dance class and you go to this empty room and then, you know, you imagine the board there. There is an actual language to it. And uh, that's something that came from Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg's collaboration. He said that there, there needed to be a language, there needed to be a, a, a dance that went with it uh, in order to trigger the computer to, to collaborate with the detective. Everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I can see everywhere. it going 10 years into the future. Um, yeah, tell us. I mean, I, I mean, think... She, she knows yeah. more than... I'm the one who knows where it goes. Cool. I better tell Max where it goes. Um, I mean, I think, you know, there's so many relevant current issues to explore. Privacy. We, you know, crimes of the mind. Like, this is about maybe arresting people for things they haven't done yet. And, you know, who hasn't had, like, a violent thought. and But you don't necessarily act on it. That's a really interesting topical current issue. We're not going to be solving cases uh, that you would see in crime today. We're going to be solving cases based on technology that doesn't exist, that most likely exists. Technology that will assist uh, you know, the crime world you know, on a level that you can't even imagine. So that to me is was really exciting, right? How do how do we how do we crack a case that's never been done before? How do we how do you how do you crack a crime that, that you've never seen execute before? And then how do you predict that? Um, and I think that that's what's going to be exciting to see that on every episode you're not going to ever be able to predict, you know, how this goes. You know, and I'm not allowed to say this too much because there's there's a lot of you know secret stuff that we are not allowed to disclaim yet. But Stephen has created a, a new weapon that is going to assist the police. Uh, on a very, in a, on a very unique level, and you know, leave it to Steven Spielberg to, to create a universe where everything is possible. You know, so, so you know, we're. I think that that's a, a, a world that we're excited to, to dive into, and um, you know, we just hope that the, the audience loves it as much as we're loving the process. 